Hey designers, today I'll show you how to wireframe easily with a wireframe kit. Today I'll use paper wireframe kit because it's very simple and it has actually a lot of features that you would need. To get started, you should duplicate this paper wireframe kit from the community. I'll leave a link below. If you duplicate it, you could get started by publishing into your library or if you don't have that feature you could just add a page to it and get started because i have it already published you can see that in the libraries menu you could have it already here shown so let's get started i have a new design file open so i'll go to the assets tab and then enable the wireframing kit if i look down the wireframing kit I have already published so I can enable it. Now you see all the components that are added. I'll be creating an Instagram page. So I'll add the image. Let's get started. First I'll press F to get the frame menu and then select iPhone 11 Pro X. So I have the similar size to what the reference image is. Then I'll add first the navigation on top. If I scroll down in navigation toolbar, I just click and drag it in. And I could just already call it Instagram, right? And then there's some options to the component itself. So this is the default, but I could go for icons left and right. And then I could change the icon by selecting the placeholder inside the component and then go to maybe camera. Then I already have a camera icon. I don't know what this might be called for the message. Maybe I saw message. Yes, I got it. So maybe we could make the stories part. Um, I think I could use an avatar here and increase it a bit. One other thing is that it's a clickable button here. So I'll look for a button inside. Yes, so there's a button, but you see it's text-based, but you could change it. Okay, I guess it's variant. I'll put an icon on the left, doesn't really matter, because I'll click and select the text and press delete to remove the text. So I just have the icon left and create it into an icon and I'll select the layer with the placeholder then go to the plus the plus button is added but I see the text is black or something so I'll change it to white so I can view it maybe make it a bit smaller so it represents the button that I could click on which is your story itself and maybe I need some text for the profile itself, but I see it's a bit big. So I'll go to the text, click on this button and go to a smaller size, X small, which would be that. Because it replicates itself, I'll create it into one component. So I'll just go to the top and say create component. Now you have the component here and what we can do next is create this view but you don't need the little plus button here right so i'll just double click and press delete to remove the button and then make copies of it by pressing on the option button and then dragging and dragging so it'll make copies of it and select all of it and then press shift a to create an auto layout maybe I need the spacing I'll just put 16 it doesn't need to be exact because it's a wireframe next would be looking at this part I would create a card so let's look for the avatar one avatar here I would say for the top text here I would, it's called profile name and I would put location the important thing about creating wireframes is that it's a good reference of what you need to add in the designs um, and you could make changes really fast so i could look for this icon here 
I'll press Shift I to access my components and search maybe menu. Now I see the menu here. I could add it really easily. I have a big image here, so let's look for the image. There's a big image, and then I'll drag it to make a big size. I won't go full width. And you have buttons here, icon buttons exactly. So let's look for them. So I'll press look for heart. I have a heart. I'll look for a message. Okay, this might be close enough. And I think we already had the message arrow here. And then the last thing is bookmark. bookmark. Okay, cool. So I could press, have it already here, aligned over here. Maybe I say profile name and message like so. On the bottom is posted time go like that and then what I'll do is select all of it and create it into a component and I'll duplicate this later the last thing in the bottom is the nav bar so I'll go down go to this part so I selected the tab bar and I will look for replacements of the icon maybe home I need to select paper warfarin kit. I'll use this one. And I think this might be a search in paper warfarin kit search. I would just use as maybe a plus. Yep, it's a good one here. Heart in paper warfarin kit. The last thing is, I guess, avatar. Let's look for avatar. Yes, got it. So you have a wireframe already created. The last thing I could do here is create some duplicates of this. I'll just take it out first. I'm pressing option to make copies of it while dragging. And then I'll add them into an auto layout by pressing shift A. Maybe I need a bit more tight space, so I'll make this spacing into 16. And rename it by pressing on command R and say maybe feed. Then I'll just, just put this back by dragging it in. And what I'll do here is make it draggable but um, let's check the layers here it's on the top so what I can do is bring it back by pressing command option and the bracket so it's at the end now so you see it there okay so the last part also would be making into a slight prototype. I'll go to the prototype tab, click on the frame selected and then go vertical scrolling so it's scrollable but still I want some of the elements to be not scrollable so there's fixed position when scrolling so it'll stay in place. Also this one fixed position when scrolling and then it would be scrollable. So how do we check that? Go to the play button on top, play it, and then I'll try to scroll. Now you see you have an Instagram wireframe. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, comments, leave it in the comment section. And please subscribe to support the channel. Then see you next time. Bye.